very good morning good morning at the outset it's my pleasure privilege and honor to be here for the wonderful event on 30th uh, annual day celebration i wish the trustee members school teachers principal and uh, especially parents and students i wish you all the best i wish this school will continue much ahead success in the near future too uh, uh, something interesting when you talk about uh, as far as the uh, this type of event is concerned annual day it's a great opportunity to meet the all the minds you bring put together i'm happy to see many school principals also here for the certain cause we are here let's see that and uh, teaching is one of the fantastic noble profession that makes every individual to become a good character become a successful human beings too so i really appreciate all the teachers here who are for the noble cause and always knowledge gives us a power and uh, characters makes respect so today i wish to highlight about i have given only 5 to 7 minutes time so i would like to talk about five bullet points number one we talk about character that is one of the uh, uh, knowledge gives power again i repeat knowledge gives power and characters gives respect and school is a fantastic place after you are next to your home if we see most of the kids used to be spend most of the career in the time in the day in the school so in this profession if we talk about character building is very important and today we find most of the times the character not only in talk about the school kids even it is much for the parents because today we talk about the culture when we talk about next thing again i am coming back character culture commitment creativity communication and all this five let try to focus on it when i talk about culture what is culture some of you perceived here i have synthetic principles too i could able to see most of the gender most female kids and i could able to see the culture day one onwards when they calling me for the invitation to the the way they came to the home i said i do travel a lot as a not required but they maintain the culture whatever you do simple thing with a good intention and attitude when you do the normal thing become habit when you do bad habit in the long run it become identity in identity in the long run that will become a culture so you try to imbibe the good quality culture in the day one onwards because that gives visibility to the society and what work we do on value creation and today we talk about everywhere if we talk about the commitment and confidence and competency because today world is absolutely competitive in nature we have to survive on fittest i don't say competition means we have to compete with every one world is big but still to stay fit to stay survive competency is required how do you build the competency so we have to identify our commitment towards the learning process because knowledge is different wisdom is different right you try to inculcate the wisdom to the student knowledge you can acquire any time there is no end result and bring the good attitude confidence with the students i am sure the students will get an opportunity in the during school days to bring the confidence teachers are working on that direction right and i always find one more thing observation to the parents especially as a teacher i don't get this type of problem in my day school because i get one lakh application for 120 seats but uh, normally what happened uh, today the culture is even in the morning when i came from there signal is on signal is on you must be observe it in fact see it also created the advertisement on it right when signal is on people coming in a four wheeler parents are showing the hands and stop it when signal is on you can observe it in mumbai it's a normal culture everybody is in hurry if the parents do that what message are you carrying forward into the kids are we creating something wrong communication because parents also the role model to the kids please understand that because i most of the times i found one of my kids, you know i have two kids they are also in the schools i once happened to go to the parent meet i told the parent meet in the school teacher ma'am i don't worry you can take care of the responsibility of my kids who are already taking care i don't come and ask question and today what's happening is parents are giving a more focus to the kids i really scared are they deviating from the focus if the teacher doesn't ask a question to the student then who will ask why parents go to the teacher and ask for one mark argument two marks argument in the parent meeting if the students parents can't ask the students 
teachers don't ask the student. I will think the teaching is a noble profession. They are all coming to this profession with a purpose and intention. Not for money is a prime focus. Please understand that. If I don't, all teachers were good. One or two exception always. Five fingers are not same. All five fingers should not be same because the purpose is different. But when teachers controlling the kids, as a parents, please support the institute, support the students, right? And don't argue with the students. It's my humble suggestion. End of the day, we know what we are in. Right? And that's what I talk about the communication part. Very, very important. Today we have to be creative. We have to be in communication in very clear. Today we are getting multiple disturbances. We have to see what needs to be taken. Data is everywhere. We have to take the required data. For an example, if we talk about, see how we are get misguided by anyone. Would you like to do a small exercise? Can we? Yes. Fantastic. Kindly close your eyes. Have a brief, wonderful, uh, you know, from your abdomen three times. During this exercise, I am going to cheat everyone. Open challenge. Let's see. Slowly open your eyes. Slowly open your eyes. Hope everybody could be able to see me. Rise your left hand. Rotate left to right three times. Right to left, right hand. Right to left. Left to right. Put your left hand down. Kindly keep right hand at your chin. Yes, is not over. This is not the chin. This is chin. <laughs> right? This is what the problem happens. Because we get impressed by something unknown people. Right? So we try to get disturbances from many people. We trust, we believe. If you ask the reason why you did the mistake from childhood, we know what is chin, what is chicks and all. But still we did the mistake. Why? Because you believe in people. If somebody comes and talks, we blindly believe. Don't do that. Apply your brain. Do well. All the best.